Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry, and welcome back to Grounded. So last time we've done here lots of and lots of progress. We've discovered some sort of a hidden laboratory. But in order to do even more progress in the game, we need to find level 2 tools. So that's what we'll be working on today. So inside of the workbench, we can craft this red ant club. But for that, I still need to get one more red ant mandible. So let's try to get that. And then I want to craft this insect axe. But for that, we need to find three bombardier parts. So those are going to be huge bugs. So hopefully I'll be able to find those bombardiers with that axe that we are about to craft. I feel like we should craft this weevil shield. But for that, we need to get some raw weevil meat. There are always at least a few weevils walking around our base. There we go. Look at this. There are the weevils. I really don't want to fight them, but it is what it is. There we go. Got one weevil. Let's get the raw weevil meat. Maybe I can even shoot this guy. There we go. Okay, still alive. There we go. Now we got him with both of these shots. There we go. Just found another weevil. Let's quickly get this guy. There we go. Got him. I'm sorry, weevil. I apologize. But it is what it is. There we go. We got finally the fourth weevil. So let's get back to the base and let's craft our first ever shield. I don't know. Maybe those shields are just going to be terrible, but I've seen people use them. So, hey, I want to use that shield as well. So there we go. Let's craft a little bit of crude rope. We got enough rope. We just need to get some grub hides as well. But luckily, it's easy to find those grubs. So let's use the shovel. There we go. We found one of those grubs. Let's use our spear. There's some sort of an ant hill, and if I'm not mistaken, that's gotta be an old ant hill. So maybe one day we can go there and fight some sort of ants, but that's definitely for the future us. Now, the only thing we can do is fight these grubs. So <laughs> let's get that grub. All right, so we're back at the base. We have enough resources, so let's craft that weevil shield. There we go. This is gonna be our first ever weevil shield. And let's try to equip it. Let's see how it's even gonna work. So there we go. This is how the shield's gonna look like. I don't know if it's gonna block any attacks. But I have that shield and we'll be using it against some other ants, maybe. The next thing that we'll be working on is this red ant club. I already have one mandible, so let's get one more. And last time I found a huge red and somewhere here is. There's gotta be another ant hill. I'm not really 100% certain where, but it's somewhere around this baseball ball. There are these things. Maybe here I can even find those bombardier parts. Parts. What is that? All right, maybe I'll need to craft a gas mask in order to go down there. I do know it's possible. I don't know if I've unlocked that gas mask, though. There's somebody dead here. I don't mind that. I'll go and gather those resources. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no. We are dying here. I'm losing so much health. So, gotta be careful. Maybe that's how they died because they ventured into that thing. All right, so it looks like these ants are going somewhere. That's gotta be the end hill. I'm gonna assume that that's where they're going. Look at this. There's some sort of an end hill. Yes, that's the thing. So, let's just lure out one of those worker ants. I don't really like it. There we go. There's a huge worker ant. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. How many more of them are gonna follow me? Only one. Only one worker ant, probably. Oh, no. I see both of them coming out. And that's not cool! Oh, that's it. I was able to get one. Will that other worker ain't come back after me? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. I'm just going back to my base. Where's the base? There we go. 60 centimeters from here. So I think I've gotten another one of those mandibles. There we go. I have the mandibles. So now we can craft a level two club. And there we go. I think now we can craft this red ant club. There we go. It was quite easy to craft it. Now we no longer need our spear. So let's add it to the third slot. And there we go. This is the ant club. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. It's not even a one-handed weapon. I can't even have the shield up at the same time as having this thing. This is stupid. Well, this thing does apparently three damage and my spear was doing one damage. Let's try to use this thing on this weevil. I should be able to smash. I still don't smash it with one attack. That's stupid. But hey, that is something. We have this. Maybe I'll be able to use it against those bombardiers. I don't know. It was worth it to craft it anyways. Now, let's try to fry some more meat. And the reason why I want to get this insect axe, because with this insect axe, we'll be able to craft some sort of an awesome crossbow. Because to get that crossbow, we need to chop down crow feathers. And to chop down those crow feathers, we're required to have a level 2 axe. So that's why I want to get it. All right, so I'm 200 meters away from the base. And I can't even destroy these lawn mites with one attack. That is sad. I mean, this axe is all right, but... I mean, spear wasn't bad either. So the reason why I'm fighting these lawn mites because I want to craft more arrows. Because, oh my goodness, that's a lot of these lawn mites. So as I was saying, I want as much of that lawn mite fuzz in order to craft more of those arrows. Because then I'll be fighting spiders. Also, somewhere here, I think I saw a larva. There we go, there's the... Oh my goodness, this dude. What even is this? What is this? Infected mite. What on earth is that? Probably... Okay, let's avoid this. Let's restore the stamina. All right. Let's smack this dude. There we go. Destroyed it. Let's pick it up. 
Oh no, the, the, the bug is gonna attack me as well. Maybe I'm just gonna leave this place. I kinda don't wanna fight those infected ladybugs. So we are back at our base and let's try to perhaps learn this thing, fungal growth. So let's see what we're gonna craft from this fungal growth. Bradburst and some decorations. All right. And red and head. Let's learn that as well. Just a head mount. And there's one more thing that I might have not researched yet. And that is the weed stem. So let's drop it here in the analyzer. And let's analyze the weed stem. All right. So we've learned lots of things. Braces, weed stem doors. Sturdy doors. Okay, so now we can probably craft even a better base. So hey, welcome to another beautiful morning. So currently I'm just cooking here some sort of a dinner. Then I'll go drink a little bit of water and I think we'll start either fighting spiders or those bombardier beetles. And there we go. The dinner is ready. Let's pick it up. Ciao, damn. Yes, indeed. Let's pop that meat. And I've crafted now even more arrows. So I have 158 arrows. That should be more than that enough. Was refreshing. Let's drink some water. There we go, guys. We can open this up. There's an ice mint cap. I know that we can craft some sort of a tool with it. I was just testing out how to open it, but apparently we can. There we go. I opened it. I opened it wide open so I can come inside. And what kind of thing do I need? I need a level 2 thing. A level 2 hammer. And in order to craft that level 2 hammer, we need to fight some stink bugs and boiling glands. I have no idea where this one get those boiling glands. And that's why I'm loving this game because there are so many things to learn. And it should be relatively doable now for us to craft that insect bow because I have enough arrows. So all I need to do is just make those spiders get stuck because they like to get stuck everywhere. There you go. There are both of them. So I will shoot this dude and that's it. I'm running away. The dude is literally already behind me. I can feel it. I can smell them. I know that they are behind me. Look at this big dude. Look at this schmuck. Shut your mouth. Oh my goodness. I do not like that. I missed that shot. I have no idea where he went. I mean, that's a kind of nice spot to shoot this guy. <laughs> Died. Well, the first time was a boss. There's always a second time. There we go. The wolf spider is already behind me. They're so fast. They're crazy fast. I have no idea how was one supposed to fight them like the, the legit way. I don't even know if that would be legal. Shut your mouth. That's it. There we go, guys. The legal way of fighting them. That's what I'm talking about. Stop moving. Don't you dare to move. Oops. 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 The spider is already behind me. Okay, so that thing did not work. They can literally outrun me. How are you supposed to fight them? Well, let's try to do it again then. All right, so what I have to do is not move. This dude is moving once in a while, but hopefully that's gonna work. Maybe I can get this gas arrow and shoot it with the gas arrow. That did not work! Not as I planned, just wasted both of those gas arrows. And the dude moved. Guys, you saw this yourself! Illegal stuff! Illegal business this spider is doing! The spider is participating in some illegal business. Can I shoot it in the leg? I mean, I am doing a little bit of damage here. Well, I'll keep doing the same thing. I have 120 arrows. I crafted them for a reason. I crafted them exactly for this reason. So let's keep doing that. The end of the road for that. I don't know that I've broken one bow, but I, I crafted two bows. And there we go. One more shot and there we go. We got in the big spider. Now let's get back all of these arrows. Let's go back to the top. Go, go, go there. Please tell me the spider dropped me something nice. Please tell me I don't need to fight two of those spiders. That'd be stupid. There go, the dude is dead. We got him. Smash like, smash subscribe. And we've got only one spider fang. We need both. We need two spider fangs. That's not enough. Except let's not give up here because as I said, we need both of those fangs. So let's get another one somewhere here-ish. There we go. There's gotta be another spider. Got him. So I'll try to do the same thing. It worked last time on these leaves. It's gotta work here again. Stop it. Just get some help! The dude is literally there! Oh my goodness! Look at my health. He's just eating me alive. Shut your mouth! Look at that. I'm dead. Th they are pretty scary. Not gonna lie. This game is scary. Let's restore the stamina. Let's hope that this is the, the thing. Oh no, it moved! Illegal! You can't do that! That is totally illegal. Go and stop it! Get some help. That's it. Get stuck. Be stuck there. I don't even want to look at it. Are we done? I'm gonna die because of the... Because of the poisoning. I think my poisoning is almost gone. 
I gotta restore my health because look at the down left corner. The more I play Grounded, the more I'm loving the game. I think it's one of the most unique survival games that I've ever played, and I'm so excited that we are playing it here. There we go. We have a few more shots left, except I ran out of stamina. I don't want to wait too long. I just want to get this guy. There we go. Got him. Please tell me you're going to drop me another one of those spider fangs, whatever they're called. Uh, yes, we've gotten two of those spider fangs at once. So you can get lucky. And you can get both of those things at once sometimes. We're at 130 arrows, so I want to pick all of them up. And let's get back to the base and finally let's craft that better bow. And then we have to find the beetle bombardier as we need to craft a level 2 axe. There are still so many things to do. And it's nice to unlock new resources. So I'm back at 150 arrows. I probably lost three of them, but hey, that's fine. Not big of a deal. Oh, I found some sort of a juice drop. There we go, let's drink that juice drop. And our base is 130 centimeters away from us. So I'm super excited to craft that wolf fang bow. And it's not like we'll be able to kill everything with one shot, but it's gonna be very good for a bit because I wanna get a crossbow ASAP. And that crossbow is quite easy to get, easy-ish. But hey, let's go here. And hey, before we craft anything, wait, wait, I've just realized that we haven't researched everything yet. Let's go here to this resource analyzer. Let's analyze those uh, spider fangs so we can craft spider head mount. Okay, cool. And we should be able to analyze the spider venom as well. So from the spider venom, we can craft these venom arrows. Maybe cool. I have both of those venom things, so maybe I should craft some sort of venomous arrows for that beetle bombardier. I don't know. We'll see. But hey, let's craft that insect bow. We got everything. There we go, ladies and gents. Finally, we've crafted the insect bow. We did it. That was kind of cool. I like it. And plus, with one spider venom, we can craft five venomous arrows. All right. Very, very awesome. And let's quickly check this. Insect bow does about three damage. And the spring bow does about two damage. Maybe one and a half. I don't know. So there we go. Let's add this bow to the fourth slot. And it should be kind of decent. I mean... This is how we shoot with the bow. It's not faster, but it does more damage. And that's what I'm all about. I'm kind of hungry, so why not eat some food? Let's get this weevil. Let's go. Let's cook that food, and then let's search for beetle bombardiers. I've done some research. They can be up here. They can be there and there. But the point is, the game has been released fully, so this map is probably now bigger. There are more things, so it's going to be harder to find them, but hey, I'm not giving up. And you know what? I want to craft some of those venom arrows. I can probably craft 10 of them, so let's craft one and let's craft another one there we go now we have 10 of those arrows i don't know how awesome is that or how much damage those arrows are gonna inflict so we've discovered this location we are located here there's the oak thing so the laboratory is very close to us so i'm just trying to find those bombardier beetles all right there are some sort of flower petals can i get them or do i need a level two axe oh i can just get this uh, red flower petal oh maybe we can just get these ones simple ones they don't have to be blue ones or are they red i mean they're a blue but they are red here, but when you pick them up, they're blue in your inventory. Okay, whatever. I get it then. Let's get those petals because with those petals, we can craft armor. We need that. I do know we need that stuff. We also need ladybug head parts or whatever, but it doesn't matter. I want to get those petals. We got a few of them. I think I see a spider, but that's got to be a spider junior, right? Let's try to get the spider junior then. Or weaver junior. That should be pretty easy, especially with this bow. Come here, schmuck. I mean, I can feel that this bow is much, much stronger. Definitely. Look at this. The Orb Weaver Jr. is almost gone. Shut your mouth. And we've gotten like zero damage from this guy. For some reason, I my bow wouldn't want to shoot. There we go. got him. Look at this, guys. We got this Orb Weaver Jr. I, I remember when we fought him at the laboratory, I had to spend maybe like three times the amount of arrows. Definitely that works. We are at 140 arrows. Oh, because I used 10 arrows to craft the, the venomous arrows. All right, so there's a hole here and there's something on that side. Am I even going the right direction? I, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going definitely somewhere. Ooh, there's a mosquito. Mosquitoes are not cool at all. How do I get the beetle, though, if the beetles are here? All right. No, 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 stop it! I should be able to get the dude. Except if there are not two mosquitoes at the same time. Oh, it got stuck for a second. It left! It escaped. I don't even know what this guy is talking about. Restore the stamina. There we go. Die, schmuck. There we go. We got the mosquito, so definitely this bow was super worth it. We got mosquito blood sack. Is that it? And we've gotten a mosquito beak. I don't know what we can do with those mosquito beaks. Maybe craft better tools, better arrows. I don't have a slightest clue. We're going to learn that. But hey, that was our first ever mosquito. Once you do a bit more damage to these enemies, it's even more fun to fight them. But when you do only like 1% of damage, it's like, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, there will be another mosquito that will probably find me, but... But I've heard you can find those things close to the milk carton thing. And there we go. We found the, the beetle thing. 
Got him. Got a little bit of damage. Where's the dude, though? Where's the guy? I don't see. That's the problem. Maybe I can even use one venomous arrow real quick. Oh, no. The dude is throwing and spitting things. Um, hello? Where is the beetle? Schmuck! That's it. I shot it with this arrow. But is he getting damaged? There are both of those beetles. Well, I shot with that arrow again, but it doesn't really look like they're getting more damage with that. Well, it doesn't matter. I wish they were stuck in one spot. That would be better and everybody would like that a bit more. This area is super dangerous, not only because of these bombardier beetles, but also because of the spiders. And because of the mosquitoes, sorry, and spiders as well. There's everything here. But I'll be shooting this guy. This schmuck is moving. Hope they can't jump. The ladybug's walking here as well. Alright, so I just chopped down this clover. Maybe it'll be... Easier to get things. Oh, no. The stupid mosquito. Let's get the venomous arrow. Schmuck! Look how much damage it's doing. Let's get back to these basic arrows. I've lost so many arrows at this point. There we go. Got, got him. Got him. Got him. I got another mosquito. Those beetles gotta be here-ish. All right. There's the beetle. All right. A few more shots and I should be able to get one and then we'll kill another beetle. And I think we need both beetles. In order to craft that level 2 axe. I did not expect that it's gonna be this easy-ish. And I know it's dark, you probably don't see anything. Because let me tell you what, I don't don't see anything either. Well, let's probably heal up. Let's go to inventory. Let's use one of those bandages things. There we go, there's the beetle. How much health does this guy have? There we go, a few more shots. One more shot, and we, we should be done then. Missed it. Looks like the beetle walked away. That's it, got him. I got both of those beetles. Now, let's sort of jump down there, but hey, first of all, let's get the arrow. Uh, let's get the thing. Let's gather them. I've gotten uh, one bombardier part and three more bombardier parts. That's it. We have three bombardier parts. Doesn't matter. Whatever I have, I have stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Let's try to get back these arrows. Also, there was another mosquito here. Don't want to be too greedy, but I want to gather the mosquito. Why not? Let's get back all of these arrows that I lost because... I lost a decent amount of them. But in my opinion, it was still worth it. Okay, we have 115 arrows. I had 140 probably. I've lost some of those venomous arrows. I don't even know if they're good or not. Doesn't really look like they do lots of damage though. So I have 123 arrows. We could probably get some more, but doesn't matter. I just want to get back to the base now. I think it's about time we went back home. Wait, I want to see those parts in the inventory. So there we go. We've gotten this boiling gland. Okay, so we can get that stuff from the bombardiers. Understandable. Have a, have a nice day. And we got bombardier parts. Let's analyze all of that stuff. And let's craft the, the level 2 axe. And then we need to find some crow feathers. I don't know if they're going to be easy or hard to find. Or how many feather parts we get from one feather. But we'll see. There we go. I just woke up and the first thing we're going to do is analyze the things. There we go, guys. Finally, some new resources. Let's analyze the bombardier parts. So I can craft a jerky rack and stuffed bombardier. Thank you, but we don't need that. We have this mosquito blood sack. Okay, before we do this, let's maybe learn the petals. Maybe petals are cool. Bounce web. All right. And we have the mosquito beak. Let's analyze the mosquito beak. So we can craft a mosquito needle. Why do I need a mosquito needle? Is that gonna help me? I have no idea. Level six and we've learned no new recipes. And there's still more things to analyze, but we ran out of battery. And it looks like we are running low on space in the base. So let's try to craft one more storage. I'll probably place it here-ish. There we go. It's good enough. And I have a little bit of sap and we have some acorn thing so let's drop that stuff boom there we go we got another chest all right so the inventory looks a bit better and i finally found this mosquito needle so we can even craft it right now it has lots of speed and that's it maybe i'll be able to use this mosquito needle with a shield i don't know we'll try that out later but i want to craft the insect axe for that we need more silk rope and we can craft that silk rope on a spinning wheel okay and the spinning wheel requires not that many resources, surprisingly. Okay, whatever. We can craft that spinning wheel easily then. Let's place it here. We got some ant parts. Those are probably the hardest thing to get. There we go. We got the ant parts. And again, those ant parts are easy to get. Like, that's why I'm saying they're the hardest thing to get. Because the entire thing is quite easy to craft. There we go. Got some clay. Let's add some clay. We need acorn tops. I have a few acorn tops. Let's add them there. Let's add some sap and more crude rope. And let's craft the last crude rope. So we'll be able to craft that spinning wheel. So it's some sort of a loam. And with this loam, we should be able to get silk. There we go, guys. Let's get one more silk. How much time does it take to craft that silk? It's not fast. It is not fast. It's going to take us maybe about a minute or something. Whatever. Keep doing your thing. Let's get that... 
uh, silk thing. And we could craft this bug robber. I've never crafted it before, so let's craft this bug robber and maybe I can analyze it now if we have enough battery while we are producing that silk. They're gonna have two battery thingies, so let's analyze the bug robber. Nothing that I can craft. What's the point of that bug robber then? Used in bounce web, so we can just craft a bounce web. A trampoline constructed of spring, bug robber, and limber springs. That's it. That's all it's used for. All right, so I think it's done. There we go. We've got an hour silk thing. Let's get it. But hey, before we craft that level two axe, I want to still learn more about this mosquito blood sack. So what we can craft is Hilbasa. All right, that's kind of cool. It's like the Polish thing, Kielbasa, except it's Hilbasa. Very epic. <laughs> very cool. Let's learn this boiling gland and bombardier head mount. There we go. So we've kind of learned everything. All right, so that's it. We are ready to craft this insect axe. There we go. Let's craft it. Level two axe, guys. Finally. Now we've unlocked even more resources. Except someone's outside walking there and I don't like it. I don't like them. Whatever. Let's add this insect axe there. Wait, let's go outside. Someone's making noise. Oh, no. This dude. Uh, let's deal with them then. This should be quite easy to kill, right? Because now we have this even better bow. Shut your mouth, schmuck! Okay, they don't even do that much damage, do they? They're pretty easy. I ain't scared of them. There we go. We could kill them with a level 1 bow. Now fighting them with level 2 bow is a joke. Imagine being an ant protecting your territory and the dude calls you a joke. <laughs> Alright, so it's time for us to start searching for those crow feathers. But before we do this, let's craft a few of those silk things. There we go. The inventory is sorted out and it's time for us to go and search for the crow feathers. I'm super excited about that. I want to go and check out this insect axe. We can maybe even chop these things down now, right? Because there we go. Husky weed. It was level two. So we can chop this thing down. Easy peasy. And let's analyze those new things. What is that? Weed stem. That is just a simple weed trouble, stem. Aunt. It is nothing new. I, I already know this weed stem, but why was it level two? Does it drop something else? Like, there's nothing to analyze. I have it. Nothing. I just don't get it. And then I should also start focusing on crafting this insect hammer. But for that, we need to get sting bug parts. But I think they're pretty easy to get. I mean, we fought huge spiders. We fought a ladybug. Even though, again, that was kind of a one-time thing. I got lucky. The ladybug just flipped around and died. And we just fought those beetles. So I think we should be able to fight those sting bugs. There we go. There's a crow feather. I wasn't even sure. I was just running around. I wanted to get higher. And there we go, there's a crow feather. Kinda cool if you ask me, I just don't want to over jump. Let's go here. And that works, there we go, there's a crow feather. Let's destroy it, I just destroyed it. What happened though with it? What happened? Did I get loot? Did I get resources? I got nothing. Crow feather is no more- oh, there's the- there are the parts. Crow feather pieces. I got some crow feather pieces. How many of them I've gotten? I've gotten only two of those, that's not a lot, is it? It's no lemon crime, we need to analyze. it's better than nothing. All right, so we got two of those feather things, so we should go back to the base and analyze them. I can't find more. There's just Keep a... That pointy bit. death spear away from me! Yes, indeed. A death spear, pointy death spear. Wish I could even spot a crow from this far away, but I don't see anything. Apparently, the crow isn't here yet. Well, whatever. Time to get back to the base. Hopefully, I'm not going to break my kneecaps by falling down. Oh, there we go. That worked. We had the dandelion stuff, so that's good. There we go. Let's analyze that stuff. The crow feather. Let's go. Please tell me we can craft the crossbow. Is there anything else we need? A crow crossbow and feather arrow. Marksman's cap. I don't need that. And we can craft a simple bed. I don't need that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's craft the crossbow. Dude, please tell me we have enough resources for it. Maybe it ain't enough. Look at the damage, guys. The insect bow shoots a bit faster, but it does only three damage. The crossbow does like one, two, three, four, five, four and a half damage, right? That's a lot of damage. So all we need is just six uh, crow feather pieces and some more silk rope and acorn shells. Easy. We're getting it, ladies and gents. All we have to do is just keep running around this place and searching for more crow feathers. So let's go. I've gotten some more silk. Let's craft more silk in advance. And that's it. Let's run around and let's search for crow feathers. And just for the sake of science, will this level to axe chop down things faster? Maybe. All right, so to repair this thing, we need a bombardier part and a larva spike. Why does it have to be this hard to repair it? Why can't it just be like a stick or something? There's the feather. Not the feather, but the crow. There is it. There's the schmuck. Go and drop the feather. I don't know how you drop feathers or when you drop them. But, um... 
Oh, for it. Do I gotta swim to another side? Can I maybe shoot it from far away? I don't think it'll kill me. There go. I kind of- I'm shooting it, but I don't think it does any damage, though. Alright, so I'm gonna look after it, and maybe it'll drop the feather somewhere on top of that thing. I don't know. Let's try to do one more shot. There's nothing we can do about it. There we go. Because if we could probably anger the crow, it would probably one-shot me. Go on, sir. Give me the feather. Maybe I'll just go to another side. Well, cannot go there. What if I jump here? Here. Here, there we go. There's the crow. Still obviously can't shoot it. Yeah, it does nothing. I don't know why I'm here underwater. I do know that there are some things under the water. Monsters, probably, but which ones in particular? I don't know. Maybe I can drop here. Oops, broke my kneecaps a bit. It stays here for so long, but it does, it hasn't dropped a single feather. I mean, again, it makes sense if it would start dropping feathers every three seconds. It wouldn't have any feathers, but there's a crab underwater. Look at this. Water boatman. Oh, no, that's just a water boatman, not a crab or anybody. Can't really shoot it here. Maybe you can shoot it from here, though. There we go. Got it. Let's pick it up. Raw tadpole meat. I got it, I got it, I got it. I also want to explore this thing. What is this? I mean, another tiny laboratory thing. Field station. Let's analyze some resources. This... Boatman fin. Decoy bait. Useless. And this meat, probably nothing use useful either. But I look at this. The crow is just here. Oh, it looks like the, f the, the crow is gone now. Alright, so this crow dropped absolutely zero feathers. It's time for us to get back to our base and start again. <laughs> Searching for more crows. Alright, so I have some sort of a larva attacking me for no reason. This schmuck. Alright, at least it doesn't have lots of HP, but it's ugly as heck. Look at this thing. It's probably the ugliest thing. Uh, it is the ugliest thing in the entire game. It is so disgusting. But I, I got it. We also got in this larva spike thing, so I should be able to repair my level to axe with that. I'll just need to also get bombardier parts again, and that's it. We are back at the base, so let's try to analyze this stuff. We've got a larva blade, liquid rage, and larva head mount. Okay. All right, so another beautiful morning. Let's get all the silk thing. I think we can even craft more silk rope. Let's drop all of that stuff in the chest. So the first time I've ever encountered a crow feather was somewhere here-ish around the hedges. So I'm gonna get back to this area and maybe that feather is still going to be there. All right, so it must have dropped that feather somewhere around this place. All right, so apparently these feathers, these spawn, this is so stupid. I remember it fell here, guys. I 100% remember it fell here-ish. And now that feather is no more. At least there are some berries. You know what? At least I came here for a reason. So let's chop down these berries real quick and let's get some berry chunks. Oh, there is a crow feather here in the water. I don't know how, why, and how did I miss it? But let's get it. Let's chop this thing down. And let's get those crow feather pieces. How many of them are we gonna get? Maybe it only dropped one piece because I don't see any more of those pieces. That's it, it's gone. I've got only one crow feather piece from one big feather. Like, that that makes no sense. I found another feather, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, there's this huge laser. We are located here. And there we go, another feather. Lovely, beautiful, except how do I get to the top? How do I chop it down? Maybe this feather is bigger than the other one. I don't know. Oh my goodness, another one of those stupid larvas. Get out of here. Maybe let's try to use this. Actually, bow is the best. Come back, schmuck! Disgusting. This is super ugly. Disgusting. I still cannot get that feather. I've spent like five minutes parkouring. I can't do it. There we go. Finally, I've got into this feather thing. Let's now try to chop it down. And let's see where it's gonna fall. And how many pieces are gonna fall from it. I didn't see anything. There we go. I see one piece there. A few pieces here. So let's go slowly but surely. There we go, another piece, another piece up there. So what, we got in only three pieces? I think that's that's definitely better than nothing. So I have three pieces at the base, and I got three more. Wait, is that gonna be enough? Now I have four pieces, and I probably have three pieces at the base. So I think we should be able to craft that crossbow now. 
I don't think I see any more of those feather parts. So yeah, definitely feathers are kind of hard to get, and I don't even know what else we can craft with those feathers. Probably arrows. Like, feather arrows are very expensive. But hey, all I have to do probably is now, every time I see a feather, we need to chop it down because it's a very scarce resource. We also need to start working on another armor, but again, armor is kind of tricky. We need to... <laughs> fight more of those ladybugs. But hey, who knows? Maybe with that crossbow, it'll be easy to fight those ladybugs. I don't know. We'll see. So we are back at the base, and let's see if I can craft this crossbow. I think I can. There we go, guys. Let's craft this crossbow. <laughs> this is it. We no longer have this insect bow. Let's get it. Let's see how it's gonna work. First of all, I want to see how it even looks like. It looks kind of big. Looks kind of cool. This dude is dead. You know what? It's not that bad. It's... It's not that much slower than the insect bow. It's cool. How does one repair it, though? I think we could even go and upgrade this crossbow a little bit, right? So let's try to select this crossbow. In order to upgrade it, we need to get these brittle whetstones. But I'm pretty certain we can get them because I have some of the whetstones. I, I don't know where I've gotten them, but let's craft the brittle whetstones. So we got one and two parts. I think we needed only two of them. So let's upgrade now this crossbow a bit. There we go. We'll get five damage and plus five percent more durability. By upgrading them, do they repair though? I'm not certain. And to repair the crossbow, we only need silk rope, so it's easy to repair that stuff. Oh, crossbow is so easy to repair. That's it. I am adding that stuff. Now we need four brittle stone in order to do 10% more damage. Let's get that brittle stone. I'll probably craft as many of those things as I can. There we go. Let's upgrade the bow even more. And now we need six of those to do 15% more damage, but I don't have enough of those brittle whetstones. Dude, this crossbow is gonna be insane. This is a sick, sick crossbow. So hey, let's gather all the silk that we have here and let's craft even more silk. And with all the resources that I have, let's craft this mosquito needle thing. There we go. Mosquito needle. Let's craft it. I want to see how it's gonna work. Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? There we go. We have the mosquito needle and I probably can even get the shield. The mosquito needle is kind of fast. Well, we will check it out. All right, there's the big ant. I want to see how it will be like to fight this thing with this new weapon and with the shield. God, come here, schmuck! There we go. It's probably gonna attack me now. All right, now I'm again defending myself. And now I'm attacking with this thing. And I'm, st and I'm restoring my health. Look at the down left corner. All right. I mean, it does kind of work. All right. That's it, I got it. I mean, it's it's kind of alright. Again, it's way easier to just shoot it with a bow, but it works. And plus, I can restore my health with this weapon. So, you know what? Not that terrible. Not bad, not bad. Also, let's try to test the crossbow on this ant right now. Let's see how much damage we're gonna do. One-shotted. There's a huge spider. I want to see how it's like to fight it with this thing. Oh, no. It just started spinning at me. What a schmuck. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, I can fight these orb weavers with this weapon much easier, no? There we go, missed it. Well, didn't miss now. Shooting it, it's pretty good! Destroy this thing, because I was trapped in the web, right? That's what the dude said. Avoided that. I mean, again, orb weavers were always easier to fight with than the other things. These are just basic arrows. And we're doing so much damage that this is awesome. But again, orb weavers were always easier than the wolf spiders. All right, so let's learn the torch upgrade because we need it. These torches last only for a couple of seconds and then they disappear. So I think it was worth it to learn that stuff because it's kind of morning. It's 4 a.m. I just slept. And let's grab this torch plus. There we go. That's going to be our first torch plus. Let's see if right, it's... What you got now? All right, maybe it is stronger. I have no idea if it's stronger or not, but it should last longer and that's what it's all about. These ladybugs know what's up because I've been searching for this ladybug now for about five to ten minutes and I can't find a single ladybug. It's as if they know that I'm hunting for them now. You know what? Maybe I'll just go and fight a stink bug instead. Let's I think see we already know what these stink bugs are about. So let's go to data and let's see what they're vulnerable to. A stink bug, weakness, stabbing, and they have no resistance. Well, whatever, I'll just use this crossbow then. Go, Come here, schmuck! Look at this, the dude's almost dead. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, please, man. Shut your mouth! I ain't scared of you. Look at this, it's almost dead. I can't believe how cool is the crossbow! Just one more shot. Dead, 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 dead. That's it, easy, easy. I mean, these... Dudes are huge, but I've gotten a sting bug part. Uh, two sting bug parts. And in order to craft a level three, uh, level two hammer, right? 
We still can't craft a level three hammer. But after we unlock this hammer, we'll be able to craft a level three melee weapon. So check this out. We're gonna craft this insect hammer, but for that, we need more stink bug parts. So let's search for that stuff. This game is actually much more fun once we've unlocked this crossbow. It has taken me a while. And there we go. There's also a ladybug. So let's get it real quick. Okay, she's still pretty strong though. Oh my goodness. She's still very, very strong. She's just teleported. I mean, this uh, bow is a... Extremely strong, is it? All right, a few more shots. Go on, come here, come here, come here. I mean, at least we're doing some damage with this crossbow, right? Because with the other bow, we were doing zero damage, basically. Go on, another shot. Go on, be faster, be faster. Do I have any other arrows? Yes, I have venom arrows. Come here, schmuck. Well, I think one venom arrow is gonna poison her a bit. I don't know. Another shot. There we go. She does get a little bit of damage from that venom. So yeah, the reason why we're fighting them because we need to start getting a level 2 armor. And Ladybug armor is probably nice. And it's not super cheap, but it's relatively cheap, cheap. As we only need to get Ladybugs, and Ladybugs are kind of common to get. There we go. We've gotten four ladybug parts. Let's get more of them. Actually, how many ladybug parts in total do we need to grab the full set? The chest plate requires two parts. The armor requires four, so that's six. And the boots require five. Wow. Eleven parts then. Well, at least now they're killable with this crossbow. <laughs> I'm loving it, dude. So I'm back at the base. Let's quickly analyze. I'm back at the base. So let's quickly analyze those bombardier parts that we've just gotten. And let's see what we've unlocked. Repair glue and stuffed stink bug. Okay, whatever. We already know that with those bombardier parts, we can craft a level to hammer. Got her. There we go. Got her. How many ladybug parts? Three. It's still not enough for the whole set. Wait, I've just realized something. You can always restore your arrows, right? You can always pick them up. So why I haven't crafted level two arrows yet? I have like probably eight something feather pieces. And it's not like you can craft anything important with those feathers anyways. I mean, we have the crossbow. What else are we going to do? I mean, this entire crossbow, look at this, guys. We crafted it. The only feather pieces that it has are at the very end of the crossbow. So why did we need those uh, crossbow feathers? I don't know. What I do know, though, is that let's craft a bunch of feathers here. 25, not feathers, but arrows. 25 things, and we need more silk rope. All right. The more silk rope, the better. I kind of ran out of silk rope. Wow, we need more silk rope then. So one more ladybug, and then I think we can craft an entire level two set here. There we go. This shot. This shot. All right, so we are using these level two arrows, but they, I thought we, were, we would do more damage with that stuff. There we go. Got her. Now let's try to get back all of these arrows. But before we do this, we need to craft perhaps a healing item. I, I don't have any of that. I cannot craft a healing bandage because all of my resources are at the base. There we go. We've gotten some more ladybug parts, and that's it. We can craft a level two armor. Lovely. Now let's try to get back and let's get all of these arrows that I've lost. Five here and 25. That's it. I've picked up all of the level two arrows. Lovely. So we are back at the base. The first things first. We're going to craft ourselves a few healing bandages. I could craft only one for now. Well, that is something. Let's consume it. And now let's craft that armor. Let's craft the ladybug faceplate. For that, we need more berry leather. I think we can craft more of it because I should have it. There we go. Let's craft the faceplate. Let's craft the chest plate. For that, I need more... Berry leather. I don't have any more berry leather. Berry leather requires three berry chunks. Well, let's get some more berries then. So I just figured something out. We can shoot these berries down. You don't have to climb up in order to get them. There we go. That's a game changer. There we go. Just crafted over there some sort of a shelter. We've slept. And it's time for us to get the berries. There we go. Another berry. So in total now I have 19 berry things. I think we need like about 27 or something. I don't remember how much we need, but I'll try to get at least 30. I think 30 should be more than enough. Okay, we got three berries. One shot. Two shots and there we go. Let's get that third berry. So we are back at the base now. Let's try to craft as much of that berry leather as possible. I don't know if I have enough of it though. But hey, we've already crafted this ladybug faceplate. Let's craft the ladybug chest plate. And we need ladybug shin guards. Can I craft them? Yes, indeed. We've crafted everything, ladies and gentlemen. We can craft. We can have now the entire ladybug set. Let's equip all of that. So this is how we looked before, and this is how we're gonna look now. This thing and the head thing. Nice there and we safe. go. I guess cool. 
All I know is that we should have more defense. Took me a while to get this armor, but hey, finally we have this level 2 armor. And there are some other things that I want to do. We need to find one more sting bug. With that sting bug, we'll be able to craft a level 2 hammer. And with these ice mint caps located over here, we should be able to craft a level 3 melee weapon. But we're going to do that stuff in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check out my Miss Survival Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my The Infected Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely to make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yup.